Hi all. In this video, we'll see uh, whether sensors are working properly or not. Yeah, it's very important before you install the electronics on the plane. Uh, you just check it whether this is providing proper information or not. Like in that only we will have gyro and accelerometer both. So let's uh, see uh, whether it is you know getting the means reading the information or not. Okay. So for that I just mounted this just for the representation purpose like you can see this should be mounted in this way you can see on that you can see x axis pointing this side and uh, you can see y axis is kind of like a pointing this side so you need to just mount like this so that we can see this uh, particular axis data and uh, like this like x and y um, means y x and z like that okay so let's see whether it is reading the uh, information or not properly okay just this is just for checking whether this is working or not accelerometer and gyro working properly or not okay so now uh, i will connect uh, esc to this so it will power up then we'll check the data in serial monitor okay so now i'll go to arduino you know i mean arduino software there we can check it so to check this uh, sensor data like gyro and accelerometer data first what we need to do we need to go to this main loop and uh, we need to uh, uncomment this one print gyro data uncomment this after that just load it into TNC board So now it is loaded. Now we can go to tools and see the serial plotter. So at present it is showing like this. So see when it is leveled, you see, uh, you can see a straight line like this. Now see, you can see the, so if you rotate like this, the black color line, that means that is the Z axis. Right. Okay, so like, so you're doing like this. So this is Z axis, yeah. So you can see the black color line. And you can see that is Y axis, yellow color line, you can see now Y axis and X axis. Now you can see like the, this is x axis, y axis, z axis. So now you are getting the data from all axes. So make sure everything is working fine. So if it is not working, maybe you connected to wrong pins, wrong pins, or else this IMU will be faulty. Okay. So yeah, in case if it is uh, not giving proper information, so you just uh, replace this. So most of the time the problem will be either you connected to wrong pins or faulty IMU. Okay, so you can see this if it is stay proper, you see uh, line will come like this. So you can see this is Z axis and you can see this is X axis. Is y axis so like that so now the sensors are all working fine so now uh, let's check the uh, accelerometer data okay so for that what I will do um, I will comment this one and uncomment this accelerometer data yes. I load it Like this. Now let's check the tools water. This time accelerometer data. Okay. 
check it. This is Z axis. is like this you kind of get a straight line okay. so so make sure you are getting data for all axis okay so like that you can check it make sure this is working fine like that uh, if you want to check uh, any information here you can check it okay just you need to uncomment that particular data so you can so you can check it roll pitch here connect like this So again, just go here, serial plotter. See, this is the roll. You can see when it is straight, I mean, when it is flat like this, the line will be like this. So now you can see, so this is the roll, you can see that uh, red color, na? that is the roll, this, this is the pitch, so the yellow color is the pitch, see, then yaw, see, so like that before you install the sensor and electronics on the plane, make sure you are uh, IMU is working fine. That means in this only accelerometer, gyro, both will be there. Na? So make sure it is working fine. Then only you install on plane so that uh, later we don't need to worry about why it is not working. You just check it now. If any problem is there, you fix it now itself. Okay. So like that, you make sure you check all uh, sensors related information. And uh, so make sure everything is working fine. So I told you right, if it is not working, maybe you connect it to wrong pins or uh, faulty uh, this IMU. Okay, so just replace this in case if it is a faulty. Okay, so like this, make sure this roll and pitch and yaw. Okay, so once you confirm everything is working fine, then you can install this on a plane. Okay, so in the next video, what I will do, I will install all the electronics and uh, we'll check the control surface uh, you know whether it is working properly or not if any changes required we'll see how to change the direction or any channels inverted how to invert a specific channel or that we can see in the next video okay thank you see you in the next video